welcome to its rafiq in today's video i am going to explain you about html form how we can create a simple form using html5 so suppose here we have an example form which will collect name password phone number and email address so to create that form first of all we will use the form tag of html and the structure of html whatever required already this one you will write down and inside the body we will write the command for the form so the first command is form in form the form tag have uh, mainly three attributes they are action method and name first we'll write action on action attribute we'll put the value where i want to submit the information or the server name where i want to put the information suppose i want to submit the information to collect page so i can write collect dot html after that uh, the next attribute is method method mainly how we want to send the information there are mainly two method get and post while we send the information through get the information is visible to the address bar or url but if we send the information through post method then the information is not visible to the address bar or url and one more attribute is there that is name name equal will assign a name to the form suppose f1 after that we have to write the elements of the form so let's first see the form how it is on the browser first its name then a box so first we have to write a textual message to the page we will write name and br br i think you know what is the use of br tag it is used to insert a new line after that i have to create a text box for that input input tag is mainly used to create a text box on html form after input we'll write type here i want to collect textual information so to text then name while you are creating a form its element should have some names it's required to write uh, database queries or while you want to insert the information to the database it's required so better you keep some unique names for its field for name suppose n1 now br again to transfer the control to next line the next field we have password generally on forms you can see that password are replaced with some other character like star or dot here also we'll hide the information in password field for that we'll write input type equal password then name equal p1 or pass then bracket close br the next field we have phone number so we'll write phone br then input type here we'll write the type as number number means that field will accept only numbers if someone try to enter abc or characters it will not accept name equal phone then bracket close br after that uh, we'll have email id so email br then the tag input type email while we write uh, the type as email then it will check the validity of email whether the user entered correct email or not if the user enters just a name or a word then it will not accept the 
format of the email should be followed here means the format should be username at the rate something dot com name equal email then bracket close and br at last we have to create a button for creating button also we will use input tag only so input type here i want to submit the information so type will be submit and value means what information i want to display on the on that button so submit only and name suppose b1 or button 1 then break it close now save the file go to the browser or go to the location where you have saved the file and open it so this is my file as i have already used this form that's why this information are displayed here so these are my fields on this field i can write some username suppose matrisa password one two three four phone number let's try to write numbers it's accepting one two three four five six seven eight nine zero email a b c and click on submit so it will not accept because the format of email is not correct if i write a b c at the rate gmail dot com it will accept the values while i click on the submit button it's transfer the information to the collect page on the collect page i have written only this uh, line of this sentence your information has been submitted now while you notice on the address bar you can see this information on the url this information has been whatever you have typed that information can be seen on the address bar so this is the disadvantage of get while you transfer the information through get it can it is visible now here suppose i didn't type the password and i forgot to write the phone number also just click on submit button still accepting the information now to make your field compulsory so that the user must enter something on that field you can write required suppose name here after the name you will write required equal yes while you write required equal yes that means this field is compulsory the user must enter something on this field if the user enter anything if the user doesn't enter anything the form will be not submit suppose here also I have made these two fields as compulsory uh, name and password. Now save the file and go to the browser, reload the previous file. Now suppose username is Matrisha only and I have forgot to type the password and here I am writing the phone number 12345 and click on submit button. Now here you can see the password field has been highlighted because I have not entered the password and here you will see one uh, small message please fill out this field so let's type the password one two three four now it's accepting so this is the use of required field while you type required field required equal yes then the field become compulsory the user must enter some value to that field now let's go back to the form here you see some information has been already typed now i want to clear the information so three fields already have some information i have to click backspace keys for three times so it's quite long process for that we can create one button reset button here only we can write uh, input time Here we'll write reset. Then value equal reset. Then close the bracket. 
then save the fo uh, file go to the browser and reload your page here you can see two buttons submit and reset let click on reset while you click on reset the all information will be removed and here you will see the name and password fill are in different color the reason is i have set these two field as compulsory that's why suppose password yogi oh name yogi password 1234 phone 1234 email abc at the rate 123 click on reset the value will be removed from here now again click here it's reset so this is the use of reset button when you click on reset button whatever information will be on the form it will be cleared for today's video this much only in next video i am going to show you how you can use checkbox and radio box on your form and how you can put how you can display the information to another page i have already display uh, showed you how to insert this information to mysql server I have given the video link on the description also in i button please check the i button for today's video this much only see you in the next video till then take care and bye